Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Started From Scratch. You know, I've been doing, you know, I realized today I have been doing this series for absolutely ages. So props to everyone who's really stuck by it and watched it from the beginning. I know, personally, I'd love to make this a series a lot, like, have a lot more entertainment value in it. Do I In FIFA 13, if I decide to do something like this, which I'd love to know if you guys would like to see, but I want to take it to the next level, make it interesting, give it some sort of meaning and storyline to it, and just make it that whole much more better, because I really think that's one of the biggest things um, this series lacked. It didn't really have a point to it, but uh, I've kind of decided that I'm putting the finishing pieces together with this particular team. Now, it's a whole nother question whether I decide to go and make another team. I mean, as you guys can see, I purchased a uh, center back Mbia, who I might add is fantastic, but I came up against this squad here, Man of the Match Balotelli and the Steam Train, aka Lukaku, or the Lukak, and uh, you know, that was, that was a formidable force, but nevertheless, unfortunately, there was a di disqualification, what am I talking about, um, a disconnection, and that happened to me twice in a row, actually, you guys will see coming up, but um, like I was saying, I want you guys to let me know, would you like to see me carry this on in the sense that I go on to another league, another side, and if so, please leave a recommendation down below. I do feel as though I'd like to do it, but I know come FIFA 13, assuming you guys like would like to see this, I'm going to put a whole lot more entertainment value in it, and I hope you guys will appreciate that, and I'm pretty sure if I decide to do it in FIFA 13, I'm going to make it a whole load better. So I came up against Mario Balotelli, but not the Team of the Year version this time, but I actually came across that... Uh, upgraded and transferred version of Kagawa and um, that German player there that I cannot remember the name who moved to Chelsea but this guy actually gets a goal with Hernandez and I was like ah oh, for fuck's sake like here we go you know he scored in the 21st minute this isn't going to be good and fortunately for me he actually disconnected as soon as it happened so that was just me being a lucky bugger but uh yeah so i uh, come up come up against this five at the back team here had a really strange right back he did i don't think he actually subbed anyone in again a strange center back from uh, man city there and he didn't it didn't have any any chemistry links whatsoever so chemistry wise i was pretty confident i definitely had the chemistry um advantage on him and that kind of gave me a good boost I felt as though I could go on and do well but uh, five at the back is just so damn hard to break down and uh, if you guys who watch my formation frenzy series will know that uh, you know I'm coming up to the five at the back one soonish and I look forward to doing that and he he, chi he he fucking chips me he chipped me I couldn't believe it Alexander Pado puts it past me and I think this guy sent me a message afterwards saying I'm a sub so maybe he was just doing that to taunt me because uh, he certainly got me pretty good there but uh, a little bit of passing around the edge of the box and it eventually led it to a huge gaping hole that's what she said and uh, he manages to put it in the back of the net and for me this team like in for Menez 84 Menez has been an absolute wonderful player and for the amount of money I spent for him I'd kind of expected it so as far as mon monetary value goes in this team Remy has definitely been the standout player for me and Patu they're getting another goal Alexander Patu in this game is just uh he's dirty he really is five star skills strength good shot nice finesse I mean you, ca you can't not like him really it's pretty pretty insane to be honest and um yeah, so, I mean, I was 2-1 down, and everything was going against me. I mean, what the hell was Lloris doing there? He pretty much fists it into his own goal net, and uh, it was just, it was not looking good for me. So it was comeback time. It had to be done, you know. The comeback king was unleashed, and Remy just unveils a beautiful finesse into the right-hand side, and that's what he's so good at. I've said it before, I'll say it again. He is just a fantastic player when it comes to the finesse shot. And uh, if you guys didn't know that already, now you guys kind of do. And um, he's just, uh, he's solid at it. And that's what I enjoy about him. You know, whenever you take a finesse shot, sometimes, but like with most players, it can be quite inconsistent. But most of the times when I take a finesse shot with Remy, I'm pretty confident in the fact that, uh, you know, it'll at least test the keeper. And that's all you want, because if you can test the keeper and it's your day on FIFA, chances are you'll get some lucky ass rebound and it will go in. So guys, I'd like to give you a warning. Shut your eyes now. This is painful. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, guys. You weren't meant to see that. I hope no one under the age of 15 is watching this. I, I I'd like to apologize. You know that that it's it's hard things to see when you have to you have to watch that go in the back of the net. But yeah, it, it, 
in in my uh, in my defense, I did feel as though you know I was on the back foot and I was claw clawing to get back. And uh, there, four four. That's what it ended at. It ended as sorry in the end. And uh, I was I was pretty disgusted with myself. I had to put that sweat. But if that means I got the draw, then so be it. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And like I said, leave a comment with the next league you'd like to see, or you'd like to see me, um, you know, Xbox or give, give it a different meaning to it. And do before you guys new, start saying, just you fill the comments them with your ideas. I want you guys to just let this me know what you the average price. So I'm on the screen now. Obviously, um, two videos. You guys uh, can pick which one you like to watch. And uh, obviously, if you have subscribed, feel is high, so free to do so already, as well as the t-shirt to add with impact. But uh, he's not one of those guys ones all where this video. If you did, then leave a like. Is of them. Unfortunately, there is no trading graph for today. In the Spanish, site which I usually and, use doesn't have yeah, trading graph like for whatever reason. So I just decided I'd show you guys what team I used to.